If let's say I was given a budget of $1,000, would I put it all into Gala, all into ApeCoin, or some into both? In today's video, let's find out. And to kick things off, I'm going to begin by explaining first the fundamentals of ApeCoin, because when it comes to ApeCoin, I do believe that the major driving force behind it moving forward will be the other side metaverse. And now, when it comes to other side, it's not fully operational yet, it's up and coming, but in my opinion, it has the potential to be very amazing because as of right now, a lot of metaverses that exist, let's face it, they're complete caca, they're doo-doo, you know, it's just not all that great. However, when you take a look at the other side, it looks absolutely fantastic. It looks amazing and it looks very wonderful. It looks completely different from the majority of the competition. And of course, again, right, the other side, it still has a lot to prove. You know, it still has to become fully up and running yet before we can fully analyze it. But in my opinion, it has the potential to be absolutely fantastic. The graphics are A+, and it looks very fun to play. And when it comes to the metaverse overall, I think it's no joke because according to McKinsey, the metaverse could reach $5 trillion in value by 2030. You know, that's bigger than a lot of countries' GDP, a very insane amount. So when it comes to the metaverse, again, right, it's no joke, has a lot of potential, and also on top of that, I think it's important to note how when it comes to ApeCoin, it has a very strong community. What do I mean by that? There's currently over 140,000 holders when it comes to ApeCoin. That's very fantastic. You know, a lot of people, they like to praise Pepe for having a fantastic community, and it does have a fantastic community. But here's the thing, Pepe has the same amount of holders more or less as ApeCoin. So if Pepe has a strong community, why not ApeCoin as well? You know, at least that's the way I take a look at it. And here's the thing, ApeCoin even has their very own NFT marketplace, which I think is a genius move because the NFT market could be worth over $211 billion by 2030, according to Grandview Research. So when I see all of this about ApeCoin, I think it's clearly evident that it's very special. The other side has the potential to be amazing and it even has its very own NFT marketplace. And also on top of that, community is fantastic. I mean, as a crypto project, what more can you ask for, right? I think ApeCoin is pretty much the complete package. And now, I do want to talk about Gala because I do believe that Gala is very special, much like ApeCoin. And when it comes to the Gala ecosystem, there's many aspects of it. There's Gala Film, Gala Music, they're even focused on the metaverse through something called Voxverse, heavily focused on NFTs. They even have their very own blockchain called the Gala Chain. However, even despite all of that, I do believe that the major driving force behind Gala moving forward is going to be Gala Games because when it comes to Gala Games, it's very revolutionary in my opinion, in a sense that it's setting a new standard for what blockchain games really could be moving forward because a lot of blockchain games out there, they're just so bad. I mean, they're pretty much like Baker Mayfield, very trashy and a very bad NFL quarterback. But yeah, besides that point, a lot of projects out there, they're focused on pumping out these terrible quality blockchain games. But Call of Games, they're not like that. The games are amazing. For instance, we take a look at Grit and Spider Tanks. That right there truly speaks for itself. And unlike many projects out there that are limited in a sense that some are focused on quantity, but they don't have the quality. The others, they're focused on quality, but they don't have the quantity. But when it comes to Gala games, they're quite essentially a perfect balance of the two. They have a lot of quantity of games, and also on top of that, the quality is top notch. So when it comes to Gala games, man, it's very special in my opinion. And the blockchain gaming market, by the way, is no joke. It's expected to be worth over $300 billion. Yet again, I'm gonna have to quote Grandview Research because they do predict that could very well happen by 2030. When it comes to Gala games, Games are fantastic and it's focused on the right market. I mean, that's crazy in my opinion. And now I do wanna take a look at the market cap of both ApeCoin and Gala because ApeCoin, it currently has a market cap of around $1.2 billion. While on the other hand, Gala has a current market cap of around $1.1 billion. So in terms of market cap, it's pretty much the same. And when I take a look at something like this, what would I do if let's say I had a budget of $1,000? Would I put it all into ApeCoin, all into Gala or put some into both? I would actually put some into both because in my opinion, they're pretty much well-established. Market cap, pretty much the same. Community is both very strong. And I think that 
They're both fantastic projects that are focused on the right market. So I think that I can't go wrong by choosing both. If I had $1,000, I would put $500 into ApeCoin and $500 into Gala. I'm doing a 50-50 split. I think they're both fantastic projects. And now, $1,000 is just a hypothetical budget because a lot of people out there, they don't have tens of thousands of dollars or even hundreds of thousands of dollars to put it into cryptos. So I'm just using $1,000 as an example. But even if, let's say, we increase the budget, right? $10,000, $50,000, I would still even do a 50-50 split. I would put half into ApeCoin, half into Gala, because I think they're both incredible. At the end of the day, I believe that I can't go wrong by choosing both. And I think they're both the winners here for me. I think they're both incroyable, as they say in France, aka incredible. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video, and I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye. And make sure to subscribe and like. I'd greatly appreciate it.